The day has come. You finally decide to buy that $2,000 snare because the $14,000 one was a little over budget. And besides, you gotta factor in a case. This one's $120, this one's $118, and this one's $130. They all cost about the same, but which one's better? Maybe I just used that weird purple one I already have? Well, Steven Taylor and I had the exact same questions, so we bought all three of these to do our own testing. Go! So we gotta put a truck on it? Oh, and be sure to stick around to the end to see what would happen to a snare during these tests without a case. And just so you know, inside each snare case, we've got an actual dummy snare so that we can see how well it actually protects things. First up, we'll start with a roughly four foot drop. Not bad. Ooh. They all did pretty well from that one, so now we're gonna do roughly a six foot drop. I don't like that gator case, it's going down. Got a dent on that one. Nice. Ooh, that one's solid every time it hits, man. And now we got the airline throw. Ooh. Oh! Oh, look at that handle! Oh, the handle. Get out of here. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> so solid. You might have missed your calling. You should be a luggage handler, a luggage man. Handler. You, got a, you got a good sling. <laughs> here we go. Who's a bird? Oh! That one's solid as could be. Hoomsaberg's got a few dents and scratches, nothing real bad. This one is just on its way to being destroyed. The SKB got a few little dents and scratches, but she's still pretty whole. Look, this one only stand up straight. And now for a completely ridiculous, gratuitous high drop that we gotta do, because we're, we're bent on destroying these things. First up, the gator case, which is already halfway there. We got the SKB. Boomsenberg. Now we're gonna test what happens if it flies onto your trailer while you're going down the highway. <laughs> Say I never let you have any fun, David. We look like idiots. Hit it. Damage check. So far, this will not even move anymore. Yeah, the inside of this is all scratched up too. Oh, the case is cracked. You didn't see that? Oh, wow, look at that. So the case is cracked. We got our first crack. SKB, we got some dirt. We got some scratch, some scuffage, which I expected there to be. No scrapes on the plastic. The rim is lower than the edge of the shell. Yeah, drum seems to be well, as in round as it was before. The handle is still fine. Uh, SKB is pretty much intact. Okay, so this is my hand yeeting this snare drum case onto the back of Steven's truck. But if we go back a few clips, uh, my camera is right there. <laughs> that's my camera, don't worry. The Hoomsenberg. Dude, that thing's Actually, brand new. You could return that. It's, it's, they yeah, know. it's one of these. This has a lifetime warranty, too. To, well, wait a second grass. A little bit of damage here. You can tell it hit pretty hard. There's a little bit of a bump right there. I want to say no damage. There's a little bit of an indention there. We do have the drum. Of course, we're dropping it and it's a cheap drum. So a little bit of a ply coming loose. I would expect that if you're throwing them out of a truck. And now for the ridiculous one, we're going to hook them up to this chain and throw them out the back of the truck and drag them. Ready? Nope. I'm going to, I'm going to go. We got a case check. Let's see here. Man, this one's all banged up. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely dented. Yep. So far, this actually is dented the whole way around. You can see a dent there. You can feel the dent there. Next, we got the SKB. Still looking pretty strong. The SKB lost its handle. As far as the case inside, though, case is still pretty it's brand new. Undamaged. SKB's not too bad, though. So far, Umzenberg is 
the handle survived the only one that that made it and it i mean it still looks pretty great yeah, it's so there's a little dip oh, there yep, we got some damage there too the inside's still pretty new looking i would say this one has done the best so far on to the next test and now i'm going to drive my truck on it going for gold here <laughs> We gotta check them. First up, this piece of crap buckled on the sides here. The drum is intact. That I'm very surprised this is still yeah. one piece. All right, Gator, respect. You're still the worst. SKB. The center's a little oh. pushed in. <laughs> a little. It didn't do very well. Oh, it didn't do very well. But the the drum is still safe. It caved right around the drum. It didn't. Want to pull it out? Well, That's uh, okay. Well, we popped rough. the bottom head, <laughs> but we just ran a truck over it. I was hoping for damage. Look at that. <laughs> Nothing. It's fine. It, it's a little rolled over here. But That's it. Head Holy. Over there, but yeah. Other than that, it's fine. Holy cow! <laughs> we just ran over this thing with a truck. Inside still looks pretty much new. Boomsenberg for the win so far. <laughs> but we're not done. Next, we're gonna try to set them on fire. All right, first, we're gonna go for five seconds. Go. Two, three, four, five. Strap is toast. Strap is toast. Go. 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Three, two, one, good. Now we're going for 30 seconds. You ready? No. Nope. Go. Four, three, two, good. Woo! <laughs> oh, it is melting. Look at that. That's the drum, <laughs> not the case. I thought that was the case. It's melting around it's the, the drum. drum. <laughs> now we got the SKB going for five seconds. Second. Three, two, stop. So the strap is uh, proving to be the thing that burns. 30 seconds. Four, three, two, good. Yeah, she's lit. Now we got the Hoomsenberg. Stop. It's melted. Strap is a little bit more resilient than the last one. So. I mean, it's still broke, but. Yeah. Go. We're going for the 15 second mark. Stop. 30 seconds. Go! Woo, she's getting hot. Five, four, three, two, stop! All right, now a final look at these snares now that we have completely destroyed them. Let's start with this piece of junk. From the beginning, I told you this was a piece of junk and I didn't like it. I don't like that gator case and it proved throughout the thing. I didn't like how it carried. I didn't like how it felt. This drum by far received the most damage before the case completely melted around the drum. So this is one solid piece now. Not that these were advertised to be fireproof. The handle's a piece of junk. The snare has tons of damage. I, I, would, I would never purchase this case. I would just throw the drum in my car. <laughs> second worst is the SKB, although it did fine. Yeah, it's a lot better. When you yeah. Say second worst is probably second best honestly. yeah second best so it would be between these two this drum sustained a little bit more damage i do believe that's because of the limited amount of padding that's inside here this one didn't didn't melt into itself handle came off but also the drum did sustain more damage than this drum now we have the winner which is the Hoomsenberg. inside the case folded a little bit from the truck we also didn't notice this rip yesterday but the snare is practically fine. Yeah, one little dent on one the One little, yeah, right, right here. here. Other than that, this drum is fine. The handle stayed on there. And I mean, really, it's still a usable case if we put another strap on yeah. it. This is by far the best snare case that you can buy in that price range. Now let's see how a drum would do without a case. First up, the drop test. Apparently I wasn't recording on the GoPro. Let's do that again. It's starting to look like that Vox bass drum. Just 
this a little dirty, nothing too crazy. Time for this thing to die. fitting. <laughs> 